<laughs> so, okay, I think it's time for Kit. Kit, like, Kit knows everything about the TV. So. Well, not everything. Jones, come on up. <laughs> it's 5,400 pages after all, so. 5,400. probably See, miss it. I'll probably miss a thing or two. Thank you, Kit. Yay. Thank you. Thank y'all so much for being here. I just get children listening to you. I'm really happy, happy to be with you all. Thank you. Uh, I have got a, just a brief statement uh, because I, there are things that I wanted to be sure and cover, and it's better that I uh, kind of deliver it to you off the page and just uh, out of my head, off the top of my head. But I am uh, first and foremost a private citizen. Um, I'm a counselor and a psychotherapist in private practice. Um, I live and uh, work in Fort Worth. And uh, as an extension of my work, I also have been volunteering with others in two international anti-transpacific partnership groups for the last four years. Uh, since I learned about just a small part of what had been linked out about the Trans-Pacific Partnership, it also has siblings, two siblings, they're called the Trans-Pacific excuse me, the Transatlantic uh, Investment pro uh, Partnership. That's for, for Europe. It's basically doing, trying to do to Europe what they're trying to do with the Pacific right now, what, what you're just hearing about. And also there's a, the uh, Trade and Services Agreement, which adds up to 80% of the commerce that's done worldwide. It's hard, hard to comprehend. Uh, but so it's a TPP, the TTIP, and the TISA for short. Um, I learned that um, it had been in work secretly at, at, as of this point today for about seven years. Um, here is some of what I know about them. Um, this also applies to, to all of them, all, all three of those uh, that we were just talking about. And by the way, Ron Curb, the former mayor of Dallas, um, was the is also is a former U.S. trade representative. He's the one uh, for the entire country who represents us in these negotiations. One person, not elected, appointed by Barack Obama. Uh, he was in college at Harvard Law with Barack Obama. Um, just FYI. Uh, so he said that they were keeping it secret because the more people who knew the less they would like about the TPP, <laughs> and it would become so unpopular it could never become law. Mm. Each public league of its provisions has proved him right. We are getting to be, we are something. We are something. Uh, the uh, TPP and its siblings were written without the permission of one single elected United States official. Instead, they were written by 600 multinational corporate executives and lawyers in secret meetings over that seven years, approximately. So, the, all the they're treaties written by and for transnational corporations. The writing of the treaties by the U.S. Constitution and our legal system is the sole responsibility of the U.S. Congress, which alone has the authority and responsibility to write treaties. Congress was recently duped into surrendering their responsibility and authority for writing these particular treaties to corporations and lawyers. This was made possible by the Supreme Court Citizens United decision, you can remember that, yeah. that cor corporations have the same rights as flesh and blood people we must face the fact that our political system has been corrupted to the point that corporations have literally bought and paid for many of our officials, both elected and appointed, in the Congress and the Supreme Court. That is how we have come to have TPP, TTIP, TISA, nearing votes in Congress. Treaties that no one elected, not one elected representative nor senator has had anything whatsoever to do with writing. Those votes must not happen. The TPP is 5,400 pages long. It's only six of the 30 chapters involve trade whatsoever. The other 20 
four chapters or 25 chapters are corporations slicing, dicing, wheeling, dealing, and stealing everything that ordinary humans need to live. Everything. Since Ed Schultz was taken off the air by MSNBC, you haven't heard anything true about it in mainstream media. Because MSNBC is owned by one of those 600 multinational corporations who wrote the GDP. I hear now that he's actually on uh, uh, Russia Today, so I'm very happy to hear that. Uh, I worked for and gave money to the campaign to elect Barack Obama President of the United States, so I cannot fathom nor explain why he is so bent on ramming the TPP through Congress as his legacy in his final months in office. This is a huge disappointment to me and to my many colleagues in the anti-TPP, TTIP, TISA groups <laughs> that I have had the pleasure of working with over the last four years, many of whom also supported his election. I'm sure we could raise our hands and a lot of us would have done that. The President tried to convince Americans during his State of the Union address that the TPP is the best thing since sliced bread because here's the real truth about the TPP. And bear in mind this is just a snapshot of the biggest, quote, trade deal in the history of the world. The TPP alone applies to 40%, just the TPP. 40% of global trade. Undermining food safety protections by making it harder for countries to adopt regulations such as labeling laws or banning GMOs. <coughs> Dismantling the buy local movement by overturning government laws designed to keep taxpayer dollars in the local economy. Inhibiting access to life-saving medicine <coughs> by extending monopoly drug patents for big pharmaceuticals. Curtailing internet freedom, which is how we all stay in touch with each other, because at, you're not hearing anything on the mainstream media now, are you? So, uh, curtailing internet freedom, spurring further financial deregulation, rolling back environmental laws, and much, much, much more. Adversely affecting everyone, everywhere, except for the 1% transnational corporate billionaires who wrote. I encourage you and all of your, to, to call your U.S. representative and senators. It seems like a small thing we hear. We're, we're exhorted to do that all the time, aren't we? But this is, this is where it's coming down. The Congress is going to have a, a decision to make on this. The best case scenario would be if they hear from so many of us that they, know, that they won't even... Uh, bring it up. It won't be brought it up for a vote. So what we need to be doing is each of us calling our representative and our senators and letting them know that we to stop TPP. Vote no on TPP. And the numbers to call are 202. Okay. Thank you. Everybody? Everybody got these numbers? 202-224-3121 or 202-225-3121. Same number, just 224-225 is the, the uh, prefix. Um, I also encourage you to look online at the websites flushthetpp.org, popularresistance.org, and Expose the TPP.org. Call your representative and your senators weekly. We win when the when it is not brought up for a vote. Okay. What what what's the form that this is taking? I mean I mean most treaties just require senator, senators to, to ratify. Why is it that, that we're I mean, okay? Congress what happened was this? <laughs> Congress was duped into giving up their, their constitutional authority and responsibility for making treaties uh, to, um, to, these, to, to um, the people writing the, the, these uh, uh, treaties. Thank you. Yeah, I want to pass 
Those on that side and these on this side. Here I have a When? What is the time frame for this? When is the vote? Okay, the vote? Okay. Um, they think the, they have the president, okay, the president, as, as Leslie said, the president is, yeah, the president is going to vote on, uh, or not vote, he's going to sign the TPP on uh, February 4th in New Zealand. And after that, at any time that he and his cronies think that they can sneak it through, ram it through the Congress, they get it passed. They can do it after that. There's, I think, there's like a, for, uh, like somewhere between like a 60 and a 90 day uh, 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 delay. But uh, pretty much any time this year. Actually, there, there's, there's talk that that they may try to do this during the lame duck session in Congress between uh, the election and the uh, the, uh, the new company. And, and because of the last track, they'll do it without the debate. Right. Yes, yes. So they have to vote. Now, yeah, because of that fact, they have to vote just yes or no. They can make no changes, no amendments. No debate. No debate. I think I've heard, uh, but probably for different reasons, that some conservatives have advice. Conservative politicians are, I mean, they're just because they disagree because Obama wants, right. wants to pass it. Yeah. But, it, it, but do you know, like, about our, our representatives or senators, like in Texas, or their commissions? There are two people, there are two representatives in Texas who uh, we need to turn. Uh, uh, Beto O'Rourke or 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 in uh, El Paso, and who's the guy in the valley? Um, Ruben Hinojosa. Yeah. But the other one, Jen, and I don't want it to go unnoticed, Eddie Bernice Johnson has not been with us on this issue. No. Eddie Bernice Johnson That's is right. not with That's us right. on free trade. Well, and there's a big reason. Because we've gone and talked to her. So well, she's been seduced by Obama. She, she is 100% yeah. with us on every other environment issue. And the reason is her relationship with Ron Burns. She's the one who got the president to appoint him as trade rep. She is not with us on free trade. That's and the correct. teachers are not going to support her. And she, this issue is important to us. And she is not with us on That's free trade. That's correct. Absolutely. Yes. She may have a, a reason. She may have a reason, but I have a reason for needing the job too. Yeah. Yeah. Does VC come out? Absolutely right. Yes, yeah. yeah. Mark is both. Mark VC is definitely both. Yeah. So yeah, the two Beethoven work in El Paso, you can call and and uh, um, and uh, Rubina Inahosa in the valley. Well, the, the biggest deal about the TPP, in my opinion, is the the way it can undermine all our environmental. Laws. It can, it can, we can set up all, all our laws. We can, set, laws. we can set up all the, all the environmental protections we want, or any other kind of laws that we want. Yeah. The DPP comes in with corporate boards and over, overturns it. Well, Ada right. Bernice's right. answer to that is very weak. Uh, she's she has she's no not answer. concerned she's, about she's bad air in in the. In Asia, she's worried about that as here. Well, she was. You know, she got snoozed by Obama. He, he had her in his Air Force One all over Europe. Uh, you know, I mean, yeah. she's just been bought. She's just been seduced by Obama. Yeah. I don't look, you know, I mean, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't pull any punches. I just feel it like it is, as far as I know. Yes, ma'am. What's in the Money. Yeah. Yeah. Power. Yeah. Power. Yeah. Power. But he's the president. Yeah. 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 Well, that's that's the thing. You know, he's. I, I think. I personally, my belief is that he was. That's where he came in. I think mean, he was there when he came in. And two more questions after this. My belief is that he just was sold out from the beginning. But you know, the ultimate. All living presidents have been. In One more question. Is that it? Bernie's not in favor of it, I don't think. No. 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 Well, and Hillary, 45 times. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. She said she was the TPP. And when he was searching in the polls, suddenly.